Are you interested in learning more about a leading 26-foot rib on the marketplace? Hi, I'm Captain Greg from Boat Test, and today we're going to take a look at the North Star Orion 8. North Star boats are built in Turkey. The brand has been around since 2002, but the Orion line, including this Orion 8, was introduced to the U.S. market in 2022. Northstar has partnered with UK designer Andrew Younger to include a two-stepped hull in the Orion 8. This allows the boat to run flatter and also faster than others in its class. The Orion 8 comes with a functional helm station. Starting from the top, there's this acrylic windshield which protects from wind and spray. Coming down to the dash are two Mercury Vessel View 9-inch flat screens, configurable as you wish. All the switches that you would expect to control the accessories and electronics. It's nice that there's two cup holders. You have the steering wheel, downboard of the steering wheel is the windlass control. Inboard is the controller for the Mercury 350 Verado with kill switch and key. One feature on the helm of the North Star Orion 8 is this glove box, which includes a USB charger inside. Below the glove box is the control head for the Fusion radio. This powers six speakers. One note on our test boat, this wheel is not the standard that comes along with the Orion 8. While the acrylic windshield is great when running, this curvature on both starboard and port creates a little bit of distortion when looking off to the side. The helm station has a footrest, which I found when operating in two to four foot seas gave me a great anchor point and it was very comfortable. Under the helm seats are a service compartment that has some storage and also a refrigerator drawer. Our test boat came with the optional T-top, which has six feet four inches of headroom in the center and six feet two inches of headroom as you walk underneath. The top extends over the aft facing seat in the aft part of the cockpit, and the boat with this option has a seven foot air draft. The Orion 8 has Hypalon tubes, which are 22 inches in diameter and have seven individual air chambers for safety. Here you can see the port storage for a support tube for the optional aft sunshade. You also have the midship speakers, which are JL audio interface with the Fusion, and the Orion 8 has synthetic deck that's nice on the feet throughout. Starting from the bow is the first of three substantial stainless steel telescoping cleats. Also is the hatch for the anchor compartment. The anchor is a 15 pound ultra with chain and rope road and a 360 degree swivel. There's a remote control as well as an emergency winch handle to operate the windlass. Below the 15 pound stainless steel ultra anchor is a towing point for towing behind a larger boat. Forward in the cockpit is this large seat that two or three people could easily sit on. Underneath this seat, opening two straps, is storage for the aft table, as well as the structure that holds up the forward optional sun pad. In the forward part of the cockpit, you'll see two of the six JL audio speakers and two of the four lifting points. Many ribs this size come with the option of a head, and the Orion 8 is no different. This is a great feature, particularly for families who want to use this rib. There's a seat on top of the head hatch, and to be able to open the head hatch, two latches and a lift on the handle. The entrance to the head is two feet wide, and the interior headroom is four feet eight inches. The toilet shown here is the optional electric toilet with macerator and holding tank, but a chemical portable head comes standard. There's an access panel to the back of the electronics, and the Turkish attention to detail comes out in the padded carpet hatch liner. Being a high performance rib, there's ample handholds throughout the boat. Here are just two of the ones attached to the tubes. These can be applied as desired and based on owner specs. In between the opposing seats in the forward cockpit is an optional fill-in that turns this into a sun pad. The cockpit is four feet wide forward, almost 13 feet long, and five feet wide at the back. Transitioning along the cockpit is a walkway, which is one foot wide at the helm station, nice handholds, and nine inches wide by the seats. The aft part of the cockpit has opposing fore and aft seats. The aft facing seat comes with a standard igloo cooler, holds two people. 
The forward-facing seat holds three people and covers a compartment that has critical boat components. In the aft cockpit between the opposing seats comes a standard table on two posts with four cup holders in the center. A great place to socialize. There's a walkway coming back from the cockpit to the aft deck. Included back here are two more stainless steel, very sturdy telescoping cleats, a towing pylon for water skiers and wakeboarders. Also included aft is a shower and the fill port for the water tank. And two more lifting points combined with the two in the front makes for easy lifting onto a larger yacht. One well thought out design feature of the Orion 8 are these scuppers to port and starboard. They drain overboard as opposed to out the back, which allows green water coming into the boat to easily flow out without having any water flow in while backing. The aft part of the cockpit has the hardware for the supports for the aft table, two more of the six JL audio speakers. This aft hatch contains many important components of the Orion 8, starting with the battery switch, the start battery, the water tank, the holding tank, including a macerator pump, the power steering pump, and outboard to port is the house battery. One design feature that I appreciate is this horizontal or flat battery switch. By opening the hatch, it allows you to easily see what status the battery is in. Two important aspects of the Orion 8 you can't see, but which set this boat apart from many in its class, is that her fiberglass hull is made with infused non-water permeable vinyl ester resin and her 95 gallon fuel tank is stainless steel. One design aspect that will especially be interesting to families is the retractable telescoping boarding ladder. When you come up the boarding ladder, there's a very sturdy stainless steel handhold to grab onto. Our test boat came with the standard Mercury 350 Verado. The Mercury 400 Verado is also an option. Now, let's see how this rib performs. The North Star Orion 8 has a length overall of 26 feet 10 inches, a beam of 9 foot 1 inch, a draft of 1 foot 10 inches with the engine up, and a dry weight of 4,041 pounds. At idle, she had 630 RPM and did 2.8 miles per hour while consuming 0.7 gallons per hour. This yielded 4.2 miles per gallon in a range of just over 414 miles. At 3,000 RPM, she did 20.2 miles per hour while consuming 7.3 gallons per hour, which yielded 2.8 miles per gallon and a range of 273 miles. Our test boat hopped onto plane just above this speed. At wide open throttle, she did 6,035 RPM at 51.5 miles per hour while consuming 30.9 gallons per hour, yielding 1.7 miles per gallon and a range of 163.2 miles. The North Star Orion 8 took 5.5 seconds to hop onto a plane at 21.2 miles per hour. It took 24.1 seconds for her to reach her maximum speed of 51.5 miles per hour. At idle, the Orion 8 averaged 1.5 miles per hour through a 180 degree turn. Given it took 26 seconds to complete, the turn radius is 36.1 feet. Starting on plane, the Orion 8 averaged 13.5 miles per hour through a 180 degree turn in seven seconds. This yields a turn radius of 88.1 feet. Our test day saw two to four foot seas in 15 to 20 knots of easterly breeze just outside Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. A design aspect of this boat which I really appreciated was I feel more in this boat than on this boat, which is how I feel on some other ribs. I felt so safe and secure running through all the maneuvers to test this boat in the ocean. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the North Star Orion 8. The Orion 8 is a 50 knot boat with outstanding sea handling characteristics. It also comes with the fit and finish and sturdy construction that one would expect from Turkish builders. For boat test, I'm Captain Greg. 
wishing you fair winds and following seas.